This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. For a long time, Rolex watches have transformed from mere timekeeping instruments into coveted symbols of status and smart financial investments. Their timeless design, exceptional craftsmanship, and scarcity have fostered a strong resale market where certain models can appreciate substantially in value. Yet, with such a wide array of Rolex models available, pinpointing the watch most likely to double your investment in the next 10 years presents a particularly challenging task. In this video presented by The Luxury World, we delve into the intricate world of Rolex value appreciation, analyzing historical trends, production scarcity, and consumer preferences to identify a potential standout for your next Rolex purchase. We will also address frequent questions about the Rolex market. If you have not already, consider subscribing to our channel to stay informed about our upcoming videos. It is crucial to offer clear insights into the ever-evolving Rolex market. Regarding the question about building the best two-watch Rolex collection under $20,000, assuming you already own the Explorer 40, we advise adding another model. Our recommendation is the Explorer 2 in its 42mm version, available in both black and polar white dials. However, given current market conditions, choices under $20,000 are somewhat limited. In our view, pairing a Wimbledon fluted Jubilee Datejust 41 with the Explorer 2 Polar would create a balanced collection within your budget. Let us continue with the next query. What is our perspective on the Rolex 11908 Platinum in comparison to the highly sought-after product Calatrava? This is a compelling question, and we are well-versed in the current discussion. The Rolex 11908 Platinum, unveiled at this year's Watches and Wonders, has generated considerable buzz. Made from platinum with an ice blue dial, a hallmark of Rolex's platinum models, it has captured significant attention. It comes with two straps, black and brown, and features an intricately textured dial that adds to its allure. Expected to be in high demand, its market price is likely to reflect its popularity. We anticipate it will become available in approximately three to six months, with an estimated price of around $50,000 on the gray market or through authorized retailers. Given its desirability, it would not be surprising if its value doubled or even tripled upon initial release. Comparing it to the Patek Calatrava, our view is that while the Calatrava is undoubtedly a refined timepiece, its reputation for weightless challenges may diminish its appeal. If you already own a Nautilus or an Aquanaut, the decision is straightforward. However, if you are concerned about potential losses in a volatile market where prices could sharply correct post-purchase, opting for the 11908 seems a safer bet. Based on our experience, this topic often elicits strong opinions. Turning to another question, if we were to choose between a Submariner date in stainless steel and a two-tone root bear, leaning towards selling the root bear, particularly if the Submariner is the steel version, our view is that the Submariner represents the quintessential all-purpose Rolex It effortlessly complements any occasion and consistently makes a strong impression. Whether it is a formal gathering or a casual outing, the Submariner is a perfect fit. While the root bear possesses its appeal, it tends to lean towards a more formal look. Therefore, prioritizing long-term versatility and suitability for various settings, we would prefer to retain the Submariner date and part with the root bear. Now, turning to another topic, what are your thoughts on watch winders? Some users caution against their use, arguing they contribute to unnecessary wear and tear on watches. However, others argue that if you wear your watches regularly, a watch winder can be beneficial by maintaining their accuracy and saving you the hassle of frequently setting them, especially for watches with additional complications like date functions. If you only wear your watch on weekends and prefer not to reset it each time, a watch winder can be practical. It ensures the watch remains accurate without subjecting it to excessive wear as it periodically rotates to keep the movement running smoothly. Conversely, if you have a sizable watch collection and do not wear each watch every weekend, we will not recommend using a watch winder. In such cases, wearing your watches intermittently means a watch winder may not be necessary. Ultimately, the decision to use a watch winder depends on how frequently you wear your watches and your preference for maintaining their functionality and convenience. The next question concerns ranking several Rolex models. The John Mayer, the Hulk, the Yellow Gold President, the Rose Gold President, and the Datejust, all featuring green dials. If we had to select just one, our choice would be the John Mayer. This exceptional timepiece is crafted from 18 karat yellow gold, highlighting a striking dark green dial that exudes uniqueness and elegance when worn. With a current value of just under $60,000, we consider it a valuable investment given its distinct attributes. The Hulk, initially less favored but now highly sought after, is popular among many collectors. The Rose Gold President, featuring its iconic olive dial, 
also holds a special allure. Additionally, the Datejust with its mint green dial remains a favorite among enthusiasts. Ranking these models is challenging. Generally, we would place the Sky Dweller and the Datejust lower on the list, followed by the Rose Gold Hulk, the Yellow Gold President, and ultimately, the top spot reserved for the John Mayer. Finally, for those curious about our perspective on the value of precious metal Rolex watches, particularly the new reference Daytona in gold, we view them as enduring investments likely to appreciate over time. Their intrinsic value, combined with Rolex's renowned craftsmanship and quality, suggests they will retain their value well into the future. Looking ahead, Rolex has focused significantly on its recent releases, particularly those featuring precious metals. Currently, precious metal Rolex watches, especially those with full bracelet coverage, are not as popular in the market. However, models with unique dials remain highly sought after. Interestingly, among watches on the Oyster Flex bracelet, such as the Daytona Ghost, they are the best-selling Oyster Flex model in the market. Turning to another question about the Sea Dweller models in gold and steel, in the new all-gold deep sea, there appears to be a notable amount of criticism directed towards these models compared to their stainless steel counterparts. One probable reason for this could be their larger size, with Sea Dwellers typically measuring 44 millimeters. This size may not appeal to a huge portion of the market, as many prefer watches in the 40 to 41 millimeter range. As a result, Models like the Submariner and other watches within this size bracket tend to receive more positive feedback. The preference for smaller, more comfortable to wear watches, combined with concerns about the perceived bulkiness of larger models, likely contributes to the differences in comments and perceptions. Now, turning to the key question and focal point of this video, predicting which Rolex model will double in value over the next decade is a daunting challenge. A decade is a substantial time limit and the watch market can experience significant fluctuations during such periods. However, one model that has recently garnered considerable attention has been the Limans, specifically the White Gold Daytona. This particular model had a brief production run and had since been discontinued. It has been listed for prices exceeding a quarter million dollars, although the realism of this price point remains uncertain. Nonetheless, due to its limited availability, there is potential for substantial appreciation in the future, although it may take some years for prices to climb significantly. Given Rolex's history of adapting to market dynamics and satisfying consumer demands, it is logical to expect the introduction of compelling new variations that captivate both collectors and enthusiasts alike. Watch as Rolex continues to redefine the luxury watchmaking landscape with its timeless designs and forward-thinking approach. Other contenders include perennial favorites like the Pepsi and the Sprite, which have also been discontinued, as well as iconic models such as the Panda Daytona. Ultimately, the future value of these watches is uncertain, and it will only become clear over time. What are your thoughts on the topic we answered and covered in this video? If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for future updates and more content. Thank you for watching The Luxury World, and we look forward to having you join us in our next videos.